During the different stages of creation of media products, technology played an enormous part in creating professional final products. When creating the trailer into an ancillary task, I went through a research and planning stage and also a production and evaluation stage. At the beginning of the production, I needed to produce some research in which I could collect information about real media products to make my production the best piece it could be. The internet is an endless source of information and considering my chosen brief, which was to produce a trailer, poster and magazine front cover advertising the film, the internet gave me an endless amount of resources. My Tumblr blog was the first use of technology when starting my project. My blog has been an enormous aid in creating a live effect portfolio into the A2 part of my media studies course. It enabled me to create a visualisation of my ideas having to Having a virtual blog also allowed me to post a link to my focus group so they could review it and give me feedback into extras they think I should research. Secondly, because of Web 2.0 I was able to create a virtual focus group. I created a group on Facebook in which I was able to invite selected members to join the group. After they joined, I was able to post different posts throughout my entire production. This allowed me to receive instant feedback. Having my focus group this way, rather than meeting on a weekly basis, was easier as this would mean I can post entries when appropriate for me following, allowing receiving feedback on a regular basis. Research is an important stage of the production of any media text. The research stage allowed me to identify the genre of my trailer I wish to do. I use websites such as YouTube to watch trailers of real media text. This allowed me to understand the ways in which certain genres are portrayed and the elements in which are embedded that the audience decode to understand the storyline. So the research was vital in creating a success successful trailer with an effective poster and magazine cover. To create an authentic poster and magazine front cover, I also had to do my research on these elements as well. Technology was also a huge aspect of the research of these ancillary tasks. I used a search engine Google to find real media posters and magazine front covers. After, five and find, after finding five of each and saving them to my per personal area, I used pop Microsoft Publisher to annotate the media text. Using the shapes tool, I was able to use arrows and text boxes to create a visual aid in which I could see the main and similar aspects that run throughout each product. Doing this research in this manner allowed me to save the annotated pictures as a JPEG file in which this would allow me to post it to my blog in which my progress can be viewed. I also used Google search engine to allow me to specifically research the billing box that appears at the bottom of the film poster. The use of the technology allowed me to establish exactly who was credited in the billing box and how to make it look authentic. I then used further technology to display my findings. I produced a PowerPoint presentation that I posted on my Tumblr blog to display my research into the billing box. At the end of the research stage, I produced a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation that displayed my pitch. This allowed me to talk about my potential ideas with a visual aid for my audience. I was also able to save the PowerPoint slides as images to post to my focus group. This allowed the members of my focus group that could not attend to the meeting to still see my ideas. Planning is another factor in the success of a good production. In terms of both ancillary and the main task, most, most of the planning stage technology was not used as I hand drew my designs. Despite this, technology was initially used to produce my template for my storyboards in which I then drew my ideas onto. The production of my media products was the most challenging aspects of the course. The production of three pieces of media coursework was extremely reliant on the use of technology, without which the production of the media text would not be possible. When developing the trailer, I was using a Panasonic HCV250 camcorder, which was the most modern camera today. Because this is a digital screen in which I can view the footage as you were taking it, allowing me to perfect my shots and focuses I wanted to achieve. Also, because of the high quality on this camera, I was able to film a low light situation, which naturally, because of the nature of zombie and horror films, most shots would require this low lighting. After filming my footage, it was uploaded instantly to an Apple Mac computer in which I was able to edit my footage. I used my home personal computer to edit my footage, and therefore using Final Cut X. This editing software allowed me to scroll through the hours of footage I had filmed and pick the footage I wanted to use. When adding footage, it added it to one event which allowed me to scroll through all my footage at once, when all placed in the same place. 
During my trailer, I wanted an effect at the beginning and end of the shots in which the audience could decode as it being at a different time period from the rest of the trailer. The effects on the software allowed me to fade this shot in and out. An overlay also gave this shot the effect I required. The white lines and the brick overlay allow this shot to be understood as a like personal home footage, which is the effect I was hoping for. The news report scenes also required an overlay in which it gave the personal professional feel of the footage. Final X cut allowed me to do this instantly and allowed me to change the text in which what I wish. Also on this footage, I wanted an effect of the static television going wrong. This was the effect on the software in which I could simply place on the footage I wanted it to be. Along with the static television effect, I needed the authentic sound in which it made the sound of the footage fit into the visual image perceived. An audio effect called static was available in which it fitted into the feel of the footage. For the production of my poster and my magazine front cover, the process of capturing and editing was similar. I used a Canon DSLR camera to capture the shots of my model. After uploading the images, I used Adobe Photoshop to edit each print base work. For my magazine front cover, I used a pen tool to cut out around the model's head. This allowed me to place the name of the magazine behind her. This is a typical convention of the magazine. After this, I just used the text tool to place the text I wished on the photo. I then used the select tool to move the text into the place in which I wanted. For the film reel, for the film reel element at the bottom of my front cover, I used the Google Images for the film reel. Initially, this had a white background again. I again used the pen tool to cut this out. The three photos placed within the film reel are my personal photos from events previous to the creation of the magazine. I collected these from my personal Facebook, in which they were all uploaded to. They were shot on a Samsung DV151 camera. For the creation of my poster, similar actions were taken, such as a text tool and select tool to place and move text accordingly. But for my billing box, I used the site defonts.com to find suitable font to apply to the billing box. Websites such as these have only been introduced to the internet in the last three years and are amazing. It enabled me to search through thousands of fonts offering different categories for different themes. This website allowed me to find two fonts required, tall films, and Tall Films Expanded to create authentic credits. I also use the website for the font facial fears in which the only side of my print based products in, are written in. During the evaluation, the technology I used was my Tumblr account to blog my answers to the different questions. This question is being answered by an edited video. I initially wrote the script on Microsoft Word and then was filmed in front of a green screen by a camera. After this, I used Final Cut Pro to edit the film. I cut out the green from behind me to allow me to place images behind to display visual, visually what I'm talking about.